Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to MTSB channel. MTSB Choice, Credible, High, high Quality, Objective, objective Integrity, integrity Construct, Construct Amalia, Asusuna, Jamaah, and Excellent. Okay, uh, our discussion topic today is how to defend our nation legislation and how to struggle to save or defend yeah, defend our nation okay talk about the defense of the country in indonesia we know that indonesia is the large of the country and that it is consists of so many islands inside and also we have a large of ocean and what should we do to uh confident uh, uh defend of our country it is not only for army tasks not only army that is but we should as a next generation we should maintain we should uh keep uh our country because of we must learn from the heroes before that they are they are trying to um fight with the colonialism in indonesia because of we want to set our independence you know and then when talk about the different uh so i think as a next generation and also as a good uh citizen we must proud and also keep and also maintain our country uh together with the army i think uh to defend our country not only your task for some people yeah like you said yeah before, but the task for all citizens yeah right. yes so i want to ask some question for you yeah the first question is our republic is fixed price that is the our army determination yeah uh how about us what is our determination or our will power so as a good citizen as a good uh, civilization indonesia has a lot of the people in here so uh, we have uh, so many power big power i think because of indonesia right now can call by have a uh, has a what is that the bonus of the demography yeah. do you know because of so many developed country like japan they are has minimize of the generation and uh, right now when we talk about the generation when we make it into the pyramid it's just like uh, so many value in uh, old people and also a uh, minimum in a uh, birth or natalis and also height uh i'm sorry minimum in a uh, uh, mortality so i think what should we do to keep our country and also to make our country still safe and uh, independent? We should do together with the army also. And we're not just uh, proud as an Indonesian civilis, uh, citizen, but we must we must show how to love our country. Yeah. So from me, I think my determination to defend my country is because my country indonesia yeah. has so many culture yeah so many region have yeah. so many ethnic colorful also. ethnic yeah so that is the make uh, interesting yeah for other countries so uh many eyes many from different country look at, looking for us and that's the point of uh why i so love to my country okay and then my second question is every citizen has the right to participate in defense the state security it is written in constitution uh, can you conclude 
what the meaning of the of that sentence from our constitution yeah. talk about uh, what should you uh, what should we do to defend our country to maintain uh, the security in our country yeah. it is based on the article of 30 1945 constitution first one every people in indonesia that are uh, live in here especially indonesian we should um, maintain our security from external and also internal threat because of right now we live in a globalization era it is so many of uh, threat that come from other country for example uh, other culture and also other habits that our next generation can um what is that uh they they try to uh, follow that culture and also make them so proud of other country culture but we must show to the next generation because of many culture that we have should be promote to other country also yeah so when we talk about how to maintain the security and how to keep our safety for our country it is based on us as a young generation what should we do uh still love our homeland still love our culture uh knowing everything about the culture in our country because there are so many culture so many ethnic thousands of language that we know in our country in java uh, do you know so many kind of language? Java and then Madura and then Osing yeah, uh, from Banyuwangi yeah. yeah. and then Betawi, so many. Yeah. yeah. We should uh defend our country by keep and also uh maintain the culture that we have. Yeah. So that is our uh effort to keep our security in our country is still uh good yeah. uh the maybe one more thing that should we do is we must filter filter yeah. the culture yes. that we follow from other countries yeah. so that's right the culture that we choose is uh on the same side with yeah. our culture must be according to our culture yeah. right because we live in indonesia we have a uh, east culture yeah uh people say that we are uh east people that still um develop still keep still manage about the politeness and then adopt a club like that okay yeah and then Another question, another question from me is some people said that struggle to win independence is much easier than defending it. Uh, what can you say about that? Yeah. Do you remember what are the history of uh, the people or our heroes uh, fight about the colonialism start before we get our youth old? era in 1928 sumpah pemuda yeah. we uh, our young people doesn't know about unity they are fight about the colonialism by region so it means that like this one diponegoro fight the colonialism only in his region yeah and then in java yeah and then uh Din only fight based on her region in Aceh yeah. uh, and then Patimura in Maluku so they are not together become one and then build the nationalism together then fight about the colonialism but after 1928 we know about uh, youth odds uh, our young people uh, aware that the nationalism is so important for our country so they try to build the unity together by uh, fight about the colonialism until we get our independence in 1945 it means that they need so high effort 
to get our independence. 350 years we so are colonized yeah, uh, by Netherlands. And then three uh, a half of years by Japan. Yeah. It's so suffering for our country, for our people. So right now, what should we do? Um, we should know about Mr. Sukarno ever said that just mera. Yeah. Let's just okay. Do you know what it mean? Uh, I forget what okay. that is. Uh, we should not um lose our history. Yeah. Why? Because when we knowing about the history, it means that we will uh can keep our nationalism because we know how the heroes need the big uh sacrifice need a big effort to get the independent okay then uh right now for the young people we not fight uh, like you know face the war but we should show to the government show to the other uh, people that we have a good effort also to still maintain our independence just like for the young people not join to the game of the motorcycle yeah. you know right now so many young people join with the gang motorcycle and then become a punk punk group yeah punk group and then right now the viral there is a xtc and moon ranker yeah so we can the start game. from small thing yeah. yeah so that uh give the positive attitude or the positive behavior for the young generation that they will be uh so the the attitude or the behavior that they can make us proud from them yeah yeah for example join with the champion olympiad or any uh i remember a sentence from insignia sukarno he said that my struggle is easier because I am against uh, the invaders. Okay. Your struggle is more difficult because you are against your own nation. I think to defend our independence is more difficult because we are so close with uh, negative thing that come from Other, yeah. Uh, so I thought close, that. close person, yeah, like our friend, our family that have different, different uh, ideal, ideology from us. So, uh, we must filter. Okay. Yeah, we, filter. We must filter, filter the what you say. Um. The influence from other the influence person. from yeah. other person, yeah. yeah, because we uh, get it every day. Yeah. yeah, just take the positive influence for us, then make it better. But leave it for the negative. Okay, I think the next generation must be a clever to filter about it because they are live in a sophisticated technology right now, sophisticated era that so. All of the information, it is easy to get information. Yeah, from handphone, from social media, so many. So, don't be easy to get the information from other. Just uh, learn about it and then prove it and then try the better ways. Use our uh, mind to think what should we do next. Yeah, I think multimedia like internet can be a strong weapon, strong mm -hmm. weapon for us to defend out defend our country. But it can be like you know, uh, sword with two sides. Mm -hmm. It can be uh, very has many benefit mm -hmm. for us, and it also can give negative impact for us so we must you see 
uh, can uh, use it can use it uh, better okay. so we can so we can use uh, multiple ideas our wisely. Powerful, wisely of our powerful weapon for yeah. defending our country yes. and then our next question is how to defend yeah our republic through diplomacy diplomacy okay because so many country yeah uh, use war or fight to always use that to finish their problem with other that people. is not wisely yeah. uh solution yeah, yeah. i think uh, diplomacy in indonesia have a, st a story like this one after we get our independent 1945 uh on august indonesia still colonized by other countries that for example there is american there is england they are uh feel disappointed because of indonesia becoming independent country and then uh, they try to attack again they're trying to colonize again and we heard that the moment it is called by school november yeah. 10 november that it's happened in surabaya that is the first time Indonesia get colonized again from other country. Why? Because they don't want Indonesia to become independent. So after we get so many moments like uh, 10 November and then Bandung Lautan Api and then uh, three days in Ambarawa, so many moments like that, Indonesia try to uh, fight. Build, yeah, fight them based on without war so they uh, our public uh, i'm sorry our father funding uh try to do the diplomacy with other country and then it is proved by indonesian to Lingajati agreement and then there is war again aggression military and then to romroyan to KMB, again like yeah. conference here. kmb is the last the, the last one yeah. Yeah, the last one, which uh, all of the army from other country from the colonialism should be uh, come back to their country. So all of the sovereignty of Indonesia give it back to our country. That is the last KMB. So it means that diplomacy without war, it is better than we do war because so many things that we will be, uh, we can lose so many in anything like our uh, life, our material, anything we can sacrifice about that. So I think diplomacy is good for us. For it, uh, right now, <clears throat> just uh, last last year, our president do diplomacy also. It is talk about the sovereignty. Do you know what is fear? Yeah. Yeah, fear. It is talk about fear. Is uh, I think fear. It's the long term of flight international oh uh, flight information region uh, information region yeah which is uh the uh, the air region up of uh Natuna and then Kepulauan Rio Malacca Street and around them it is managed by Singapore because of Singapore say that this is our region uh because of give from England that which one England has to colonize and then, and then they give to us and Singapore said that but if we can back to the long history of our country it is change of the Majapahit kingdom hmm. Indonesia area consists of a large of a uh, region for example Filipina of the sword part it is our uh and then uh, Thailand and then Singapore also Malaysia so which one is Singapore area when talk about the uh, Majabai Kingdom area yeah. on that on that uh, year so I think to diplomacy and without doing war is a better and wise yes because with diplomacy uh, we can solve conflict without 
violence okay and destruction yeah there's no cruel again just like in you know, the palestina and israel do you see that so many victims over there so many children doesn't have a big uh, family in a, long time, yeah. Yeah, in a long time it's not it, it's just like not finished yet i think through diplomacy we also can communicate what okay. we want and yes what what our goals yes give uh, give a better solution yes to each other absolutely and then my next question is okay how can we prevent disturbance in our republic such as opm okay. separatism group in papua right now is it called by kakabe yeah yeah kakabe in papua kakabe in papua uh they are do separatism <clears throat> because of uh, i think it is it is so many opinion that is is not a uh, secret again in the public because of they feel it's not balanced and also they feel the government is not fair to them because papua is the one of island which is has a lot of mining yeah. like the coal and then oil and then also tourism do you know raja ampat yeah it's, it's a beautiful place yes tourism. it is in a papua you know yeah. that over there the infrastructure over there is not built put and then the people still so many poor people over there and then it's not balanced with the culture in a papua so i think uh they do sparadism kakabe do sparadism because they want as their right to get the welfare uh same like the people who are live in a city or town near for the central of the government and then they want their region become a developer they want uh what is that the habit and also the culture over there become modern also so i think the government must be uh keep more attention to them so i think the what do you say the way the distribution way to develop yeah the region uh so to be give more attention yeah because uh you know papua is like the so many jungle so there there are uh bad bad ways bad uh distribution ways yeah that uh need more development we need more road yes so many the buildings of us do you know what is freeport freeport is a uh exploitation about the mountain and then right now we know that the free uh the area of the modern in the free but become a lake it means that so many years many that mining, yeah so many mining that exploitation and then but the people over there are still poor yeah, yeah. okay just like the inspiratism that effort done in uh, our county it is the more people you know it is left from indonesia president yeah 1999 yeah Oh, okay. And then my last question, yeah? Okay. National disintegration is the biggest threat to the Indonesian, our nation. How to build the commitment of our citizen to maintain and fulfill independence with meaningful activities so we can minimize the disintegration? Disintegration. Disintegration it can built by external external and also internal factors. Yeah. From until now, when our next generation fall with other culture, like you say that Western recession, and then right now, uh, Japanese and also Korean style, they are proud with that culture, but they forget that Indonesia have a lot of culture that can promote to other country. Uh when i saw some of the country in the world like england 
uh, some of them there is a university that promote about Indonesia country like gamelan. Yeah. And then in Korea right now, Shinops. there is yeah in Korea right now the university promote about Indonesian language become a one of the subject that must be learned in there. Yeah. Yeah. It means that internal uh, factors come from us as a generation. So we must build our love to our homeland, knowing about the culture, knowing about the ethnic, knowing everything about what we have. We know that other country have more love to our. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So don't say proud with our country when you don't know anything about our country, like a traditional la uh, language, yeah. like a traditional song, like a traditional food or traditional uh, houses or anything. We have a lot of that. It can become uh, our, what is that? Our uh, model to show to the other country that can make other country interest to come to our country then. We know we are so rich with colorful culture. Yes, so multicultural, multicultural country. Okay, so that is our mod model, yeah. Yes. Our model to uh, give more love to our country. Yes. So we can contribute to defend and yeah. develop our country. The most important is build a nationalism in the next generation, in the young generation, must be. I think enough yeah. for our discussion today. Yes. So let's pause our discussion. Yes. <laughs> our discussion. Uh, okay. Thank you, everyone, for watching us. See you in the next meeting. Yeah. With me, Memnu Nur Hayati Mariana. I'm Mr. Aziz. See you next. Okay. Hey. The last I say. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.